Hello and welcome back to Dune Door Gaming's tutorial series on Starforge 0.5a, the Alpha. Uh, today we will be looking at the power options uh, in the game. These are a bit tricky to uh, to work out. It took me a while anyway, so I think this one uh, this tutorial should be quite helpful for a lot of people. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, you may notice a few things have changed. Um, one thing that's definitely changed is the Jeep is gone. Uh, it didn't cook off like a thought. just um, smoked away there on its little platform until a leech came and gave it another well it sort of tried to pick it up or something it was riding on its back and it caught fire and it exploded at last uh, so that's gone now also my little uh, simple hovercraft managed to bobble its way off the platform when I wasn't watching and um, probably disappeared somewhere underground I don't really miss it though. Now, what I've set up here is, um, I guess, a setup that requires a few little more complex power needs than just a generator sitting next to a turret. I decided to create sort of a field of fire here with one turret there, one here, and one over on this side here to cover pretty much all the angles to my base. Also, I thought just for lighting effect, a little uh, scaffold here with a few searchlights. As you can see, none of that is powered. So I'll run through, I guess, our power options. We have one searchlight up here on the roof of the carport as well. So, now if I just wanted to power this searchlight, I could easily just pop in a little generator. Which I have here. Just like that. Not quite close enough. Try over here. Ta-da! All lit. Now that doesn't have a particularly big radius, as you'll see if I, if I choose something that needs power, it will show me just how small that radius is. Not very big and not a lot of power. So I could try medium generator there we go, power generator medium put that one down next to it There we go, we've got a lot more space now. Power reaches you know, quite a reasonable distance, certainly way more than the small generator, which is which is quite handy. But even better yet. Pick that up. Check out the big one. Put that here.
you can really see some distance now. Come stretches all the way down here. It's got a massive sort of radius to it. Not enough, unfortunately, to reach all my laser turrets though. And that's where the other items come into play. Now I've got three laser turrets. So what I'm going to use is a splitter tower. No, that's this one. I'm going to put it where I used to have my turret. I still have these problems again. ungainly as it looks. It's happy there. That can actually split the beam three ways. Oh, we don't have a beam. We've got a, uh, a big sphere of power, so what I need to do is create a beam first. So for that, I want one of these laser towers. Right here. Now, as you can see, it is beaming off in the totally wrong direction. So, all I have to do to change that is press E, and that changes me to this look. Just use the mouse to aim as it says. What I want to do is point it straight at that splitter tower. And then just E to lock and to exit. Now the splitter tower has power. But it's shooting off in three random, well not random, sort of equal distances. So, as you'll see, there's like three blue terminals. Each one of those affects one of the beams. So you just press E, move it around, and I'll show you one. What I want to do is point it right at that turret. You'll see the yellow lights up and I get a little message down the bottom left saying the power's on. So I want to lock that. Then I go to, to this one. Just point at it. E. Uh, we want the second turret. Which is down here. Bingo. Press E. And then the last terminal. And we want this one to go over... Oh no! We can't see it. Now that's going to be a problem because we don't have a direct line of sight. So what I'm going to do is set up a reflector tower. Now do we have somebody knocking? Alright, oh, we have a turret. <laughs> Aiming somewhat badly. <laughs> Okay, now because I don't have a direct line of sight on the third turret, what I can use is a reflector tower for the third beam from the splitter. So, let's see. We can see it there. So I might just put it here. We'll get our reflector tower up. Oh yeah, that'll do. Once again, there's a little terminal. Press E. Right. And you can see, I'll put it roughly in the right direction. Now I have to go back and aim the splitter tower. Um, wrong way. Good thing is, there my turrets are all working. Doing the job. Okay, now it's the third terminal, and you'll see, bang, right there, see where it's bouncing off, just point it there, press E, and we're done. Go back over here, 
Now obviously there are simpler ways to do these sorts of things, I'm just doing it this way so I can demonstrate all of the different power options. Uh, so please don't write me comments about doing it like a noob or something, <laughs> even if I am. Okay, now this can get a bit tricky to aim it exactly right, but to use... Oh look at that, I've got a nice view of the elites getting bang for my turret. Okay, so what we need to do is find that last turret. Line him up. Oh, it's a bit hard in the dark. But basically you use your left and right to move it around. Your up and down to move it up and down. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm having a little trouble seeing it in the dark. So what I might do is come back to that. After I power up my lighting array. Now there's three lights. Searchlights there. Now I could use another splitter tower uh, and get three beams at it. Oh, he's not shooting at me, he's shooting at my friend here. Uh, thanks for the help. Uh, but that's a bit of a waste of resources, a splitter tower for that because they're all in close proximity. What we want to do instead is use the emitter tower. Now, searchlights for some reason give you a bit of that audio interference. I don't know what that's about, but um, sorry, this is. Cool. Just get me up high. Almost there. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. Ooh. Just in time for a visit. Oh, my turret got me in the head. Ah, uh, beautiful work. Okay, let's try again. Let's do this easy way. There is such a thing. So, we choose the emitter tower, like it right there. Now what that is, it's like a, a booster, it'll create its own sphere if you can power it. Um, emitter towers can't power other emitter towers, so you can't like do a, a chain of them. Um, for that you'd have to use lasers and reflectors, or yeah, get trickier. Um, for that sort of deal, but that one emitter tower sh well, should power all of those searchlights. All I need is another laser turret. I can put it anywhere because that's a mega um, generator. So here we'll do. And we'll enter it once again with the E button. If I just pick out See, like I do an individual searchlight, but if I hit the emitter, like so, they're now all on. All of those searchlights are on. You'll see how it's created a whole sphere of energy there from the emitter. So now it's all happy. Just get rid of this now. Got myself a searchlight tower that is leech, pretty much leech proof anyway. Um, they can jump, but I doubt they'll want to. Cool thing is, you can see um, all the lasers in effect. And now 
now see if I can get that reflector sorted out. Now that I can actually see the turret. Okay. This one is the, the one I found the trickiest to aim. Just a little bit of fiddling. Ugh. So. See, it's jumping too far. I need a finer control. There we are. Got it. See how the little uh, lightning bolt went on and I got the little word down the bottom. I'll exit before I knock it out of sync. And bingo. There we go. We now have three operational turrets and a uh, searchlight. I don't know, whatever you'd call that. Setup powered. Obviously with that large generator going, I could put a whole bunch of stuff in here and it would go. Uh, without any need for this sort of relays and stuff. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, we have the splitter tower, the reflector, laser towers, and a power emitter. Uh, I hope that sort of made things clearer for you on um, what they're used for and how you might employ them to create yourself a little uh, defense array like I have or whatever it is um, you're looking to achieve. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them um, down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for further tutorials, uh, let me know as well. Okay, thanks for watching.